sys prepping a computer. So if you have, if you're, um, if you have to take an image of Windows, so basically you've set up your pattern computer, uh, and you want to clone that computer to other machines, what you have to do in order to do that is to sys prep it. Okay. So sys prep, all it is is a a, uh, a Windows executable. Okay. It looks like this, and you can search you can search on it and, and download it from Microsoft. So basically, we double click sys prep. What this is going to do is that if we run it, okay, and we say enter system out of box experience, we click generalize and we click shut down, okay, and we click OK. Essentially, what's going to happen is Windows is going to set itself up so that it can be imaged and then you can move that image to another computer. Okay. Now, there are a couple things that can go wrong here, though. Uh, one is that you can only do this so many times. I think the limit's like three or four times. And if you if you have an image you've used for a while, if you have to do it every year, every six months, or every couple months, essentially what you can do is you you end up having to go back to this original image and redo a tons of stuff every time. So it takes a long time to do it. The second thing that can happen is that um, that people don't understand that essentially once it's shut down, once it's sys prepped and it's in a shutdown state, you can't turn it back on. Okay, otherwise it, it re-identifies with the with the with the uh, you know the physical computer that it's plugged, that it's uh, installed on, and then Windows you can't you can't clone it anymore. So essentially the process is you sys prep it, the computer shuts down before booting back into Windows, you clone it. Okay. All right, and in the next video we're going to be watching uh, how to do how to do the actual cloning with Clonezilla. So it's a it's kind of a no cost option here. So okay, so basically um, I'm going to show you a, a method um, that you know that I researched. Um, I did not create this; I researched it, right? So, so that I found that works for me. Okay, so basically this this image here, it is not you know I can't I can't uh, uh, clone it anymore. It's been cloned too many times, or it's or it's been sys prepped too many times. It's a legal license, you know, it's perfectly legal uh, the licenses, uh, but it's it's one that I can't. Uh, I can't sys prep anymore. So, anyway, so let's go ahead and, and look at that. So, if you if it's no problem, if you just click OK here and the thing works, great. Okay, then you're all set. It shuts down, and you're ready to clone uh, your Windows installation to another machine. Uh, if not, uh, then you need to go through what I'm about to show you. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and shut this down here, and I've got this text here that's going to basically show you what to do. Sometimes some of this stuff can be a little bit tricky, though. Okay. All right, so our process is we're going to do, we're going to edit the registry, we're going to run a couple commands in the command line, then we're going to restart the computer. Now, I'm not going to do that today in the video, but you do, you restart the computer, okay? Once the computer restarts, you go back in, edit the registry, uh, you edit a couple of registry tree keys, and then run sysprep, okay? So let's take a look at using regedit, okay? So regedit is a program, be careful, okay? So in the registry, the registry in Windows is the um, is a list of interesting enough. It's a list of exceptions. Okay, so it's a list of things in Windows that are exceptions to uh, to the operating system. If, if there we go, regedit. Okay, so regedit is the name of it. Okay, regedit, and you just go down to the Windows button. You type in reg edit it will find it for you and you just click on the exe right there all right so now what we want to do is we want to go up here and this is the this is it collapsed here right so we have h key local machine okay so this is a path up here right so we're going to go h key local machine software microsoft windows nt current version software protection and then basically what we're going to do is we're going to go uh, and then the skip rearm key, notice that the key name, if we double click that skip rearm, the name is skip rearm, the value is zero. Okay, we're going to change that to one. All right, now we're going to come back in here and take a look, but once we reboot that, that will be changed back to zero. Okay, all right, this has to be all done in order. So we, so we basically change it to zero. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and run uh, the command line. Okay, so we're going to run CMD, search on CMD, but don't just click it, okay? So what we have to do is right click it and then click run and as, as administrator. So we have to go from an elevated command line, right? So we're gonna run the command line as an administrator and then we're just gonna go in slmgr-rearm, uh, whoops, 
right click and paste. Okay, SLMGR space dash REARM. Hit enter. Okay. All right, command completed successfully. That's great. All right, then we're going to do the same thing MSDTC dash uninstall. Okay. Then MSDTC install. Okay. Okay, at that point, we would restart the computer. Okay, so we'd restart the computer. Great. Shuts down, restarts back up. We go find this set of instructions, right? We launch Red Edge, Reg Edit again. We go back in, we find, so we go ahead and we find Skip Ream Write. We set it back. When you open it up, it's going to be zero again. We're going to change it to one. Okay, and then we're going to go to, uh, we're going to go find a different key here. So we're going to go to, notice that it's H key local machine system, not software. Okay, so we're going to H key local machine system. Okay, and then we're going to go to setup, status, sysprep status, double click it. Or sorry, not double click it, just single click it and just check these. Now these might already be set, so we need clean state has to be two and generalization state has to be seven, okay? Now finally, once those are set, okay, don't restart it again, all right? Now you're gonna go ahead and run sysprep. All right, and, and if you're gonna clone it, what you want, don't go into system audit because that's not gonna work for you, okay? That's just gonna check if it runs correctly, then reboot into Windows. Uh, what you wanna do is go to system out of box experience, click generalize and reboot, okay? Okay, uh, so that's about it. Uh, so that is the sysprep, pro pro sysprep process. Now you can do a lot with the boot up. Uh, it's all controlled by this unattend XML, but we're not gonna go into that uh, just at this second. So uh, best of luck with sysprep.